These are squashes and pumpkins. And I've got a number of different varieties here. We've got round pumpkins, which are brilliant for children at Halloween. We've got small ones, which are probably better for cooking, and some with thicker skins that store well, some with thinner skins. And they're very much plants of high summer. They need heat and preferably moisture and lots of nutrition and lots and lots of it from the middle of June to October. I sowed these plants about six weeks ago, but if you haven't sown any and you can't buy any, you can sow seeds now, but sow them direct. Don't sow them in a pot, put them in the ground. Put two seeds in where you want them to grow and then weed out the weaker of the two. Now, the plan is to grow them up these pumpkin climbing frames. I've been growing them vertically for the last few years and it works really well. They're pretty strong. Just bean sticks won't do. They're going to have to take quite a lot of weight, and I will get two or three plants in each row. So I'm starting with this one. This is called Blue Hubbard. And the skin is blue, but the flesh is orange and very good. And the ground has been really well manured. I've put in loads of garden compost. All right, let's put another Blue Hubbard there. So that's like that. I've got a variety which I've grown many times over the years, which is Mousque de Provence, which has got a, a greeny skin. And I'm going to put this in between so it can be trained up both sides. So that will go there and that like that. The beauty of growing them up as support is that you can grow up to half a dozen different pumpkins in an ordinary bed whereas normally you need to leave two or three metres between each plant if they're to develop properly. So it really is the only practical way to grow them if you're at all limited in space. Now this one is called blue curry, and the curries are Japanese and they're smaller, and they're much better for storing and absolutely delicious. And then in the final end bit, I've got some butternut squashes and you can grow them against a fence, against a wall, you can grow them up a wigwam. You can grow them in a container, as long as it's big enough. I can go there, and now I can plant them. Pop that in, like that, and then just make a doughnut around it, so that when I water it, that will fill. That way, the water will all go to the roots, as well as the rain, and they must never be allowed to dry out. When I've finished planting them all, I'll give them a good soak. And then I won't need to do anything for a few weeks until they start to grow, and then I need to tie them in.